start with the week 2 assignment week 2 basically focuses on sql question 1 has given us two relations style name and print style and we have to identify operation theta that will generate the following output so all of these are join operation natural join joins on common attribute naturally left outer join selects the entire left side table and adds the common attributes to it right jo outer join selects the entire right table and adds common attribute from left table to it and full outer join joins both the table with common attributes being merged so you can clearly see that square appears only once in the output so it has to be full outer join now the second question is based on key constraints basically the forward key constraint in relation faculty the faculty id is the primary key and the faculty key serves as a foreign key in relation course and they have given this statement that says on delete restrict so basically when a key is referenced from another table whenever we perform some operation such as insert delete update there are some constraints on it this specific line tells us that when the key the foreign key is deleted from its original table that is the faculty table we have to restrict its changes on this table that is the course table that is what i have written over here and if it was written on delete cascade then when you delete from the first faculty table the entry corresponding in the course table will also be deleted so from the options you can clearly see that if a faculty id value is deleted from the faculty table the corresponding records in the course table that use this faculty will not be deleted is the correct option and the second option says will also be deleted that was the case when it was if it was written cascade okay third question has given us a schema loan schema where loan number is the primary key so identify the correct options for deleting all the rows from loan table Now from the delete syntax you can see delete from table name and put condition where condition is the optional. Hence delete from loan will delete all the rows and truncate is used to clear the table without actually deleting the table. Ok now question 4 consider the following instance of the relation. Uh, this is a bit tricky question. Here. First, uh, we have to select winner from bidding term where highest bid is less than this is a subquery. So, a subquery is always ev evaluated first. I have given it a uh, simplified evaluation over here that is, we just uh, do this function that is an aggregate function, find the average of highest bid. I have done the calculation over here on the left hand side, and you can see that the average becomes 56,000 and then the condition becomes the highest bid is less than or equal to 56000 and winner like l now this like is used to match strings and <coughs> when given in this specified format it checks for exact string matching if the character has to be exactly l and dot and from all the names you can clearly see none of the character is only l and dot it, there is an l at the end but that doesn't count since it's exact matching hence zero is the correct answer if it had been percent l then the answer would have been two because percent means any number of strings that substring so any any string can come before l if it had been the case the answer would have been two let's move to the next question this is also a nice question here the order of statement execution matters first we will execute group by statement in this schema it is the same schema and you can clearly see that first of all we will group by highest bid and winner i had given the corresponding output over here in group by statement what we will do is see uh, the exact 
names have been matched will club this together in a single group this will become a single tuple and only the first occurrence that is this one the 25 one will be kept the second one will be truncated after group by statement you will get this result and when you apply order by on depending on the winner in a descending order you will get the reverse alphabetical order and in this case the output will be like this because l is greater than j and then c then a then what we are we are asked which of the following is the first tuple in the output all of them as first tuple and last tuple is also asked but from the output you can clearly see the first tuple is 25 let's move on to question number six here we are given a new schema position base salary and experience we have been asked which position will not be present in the output again first we will execute the sub query the sub query says select average base salary from pay scale and group by experience again as i explained group by will club the duplicate entries together and only the first entry will be kept only first entry will be kept so i have written the corresponding salary of manager then these are the average salary consider this is the average salary of manager this is the average salary of scientist this is average salary of developer and this is average salary of club now here use of sum operator means that any one or at least one of these sub query entries will satisfy the condition that is base salary is less than any one of the salaries and distinct also removes duplicates that is each position is considered only once so we so this sub query will have this table as a result and each time you will select the base salary and compare it with the query so out of all of these uh, all of the positions will satisfy because the sub query has 90k in it so all all other values are less than 90k hence all positions such as manager clerk developer will exist but scientist average salary is 90k itself hence when you compare scientist base salary that is 90k with 90k the it is not less than 90k it is equal to 90k hence it will evaluate to false and this tuple will not be present in our selection query question number seven asks is about uh, granting roles and user management in SQL here the problem specifies that the manager has these much privileges select, in, select insert update and delete and all uh, on all the database and a new software engineer role is created then we have said grant manager to software engineer this is basically saying grant all the privileges of manager to software engineer here I have given some syntax of how this can be done in SQL. Hence, our option D is correct. Question 8 has given us the familiar schema that we did in assignment 1. Here, we again have given some output and we have to select the query for that output. So, first of all, 2 is not an operator in SQL. Hence, 2 is eliminated. The options having two both are eliminated as is generally used for specifying alias that is temporary renaming hence it is also eliminated and the in operators is used to specify multiple where clauses that is this statement is equivalent to where statement state name is Sikkim or the state name is Uttarakhand the this is how it is evaluated and you can clearly see in the output that the statement is either Sikkim or it is Uttarakhand. Hence, this is the correct answer. Now, we are again use the schema. Identify the correct SQL command that updates altitude. 
so updating is done by the syntax update or table name and then set some attribute and this is generally clubbed with the with a condition so first of all we have to find whose statement ends with character d as i said for finding the conditional strings you can either place a wild card which allows all the substring or you can place a, an underscore which has exact number of characters so dash dash d will have exactly three characters where d is the ending and first two will exactly two characters hence out of all of these options the last one may have something beyond d first of all a and c can be eliminated since there is no set statement hence both of these are incorrect both of these are incorrect and between b and last one the last one will allow something after d but our condition said ends with character d so it shouldn't be allowed hence b is the correct option now this is also a similar question where we have to write a query to select something so i'll from mountain name altitude whose altitude is the altitude is greater than or equal to the average altitude of all the mountains so first of all you can see we have to find average by using average function or altitude between this and this here again eliminate by incorrect use of operators you can clearly see like is used for strings so this is incorrect you can and as is alias that is incorrect in is incorrect because that will compare with each value and if there's some entry with altitude 7000 which is obviously between 6500 and 8000 this statement will not consider that it will check each and every value like altitude equal to 6500 and altitude equal to 8000 but not the values in between them hence the between keyword is necessary other than that these two are exactly same query. Hence, this is incorrect use of in operator and C answer is the correct. Okay, again, thanks for watching and keep subscribing, liking my videos. See you in the next one.